Nearly one year after the disappearance of a Memphis mother, her family says they still have no answers. Thank you for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Joy Redmond. And I'm Joe Birch. 33-year-old Jacqueline Vale was last seen at a grocery store with her boyfriend. Her car, though, found abandoned with her purse and phones inside just two days after her disappearance. Action News 5's Stephanie Douglas spoke to the family, still pleading for some kind of answer. Well, Julie and Joe, Jacqueline Vale's mother told Memphis police on November 12th, 2022. She spoke to her daughter on the phone. Jacqueline told her mother she was with her boyfriend at this house on English Street. Well, police reports say that he was overheard in the background of that phone call. But to this day, the family has no answers as to where Jacqueline is. Since the disappearance of 33 year old Jacqueline Vale, her sister Tawanda Williams says every day feels like she's reliving the same nightmare. It is. Because every day I wake up and I have to deal with this over and over again. The two places Vale was reported to have been seen on November 12th, the day of her disappearance, was at this house on English Street and at Super Low Foods on Lamar Avenue. Her boyfriend, 34-year-old Ivory Hearns, was seen with her. Two days later, her car was found abandoned with all of her belongings, including her cell phone. They won't even keep him in jail to make him even try to talk. He out here just living his life. Memphis police say they have zero leads in this case. Tawanda says in the last year, the anguish still feels fresh for her and Val's three kids. Her um, kids had to go home stay with their dad, and that hurts too because when I talk to them, it's like, have y'all heard anything? And I can't give them an answer. Now the family is offering a reward up to $5,000 on solid information leading to an arrest or finding their sister, Jacqueline Vale. To leave a tip, you can find a link attached to this web story on actionnews5.com. Reporting in Memphis, I'm Stephanie Douglas, Action News 5. Stop